Hey, Jared here from SoundGuitarLessons.com, where I teach musicianship skills on the guitar so we can express ourselves more freely, including improvisation, which is one of my favorite things. And I love composing and improvising and noodling around and, and exploring theoretical ideas. And today we're going to talk about four different ways to find the right scale to fit over any chord. Four ways that you can find a scale that works over whatever chord that you're playing around with. I think you'll find these tips really useful if you're someone who improvises over chords and you want to be able to find scale options that work or interesting different scale options that work that you didn't know about. Let's dive right in. One way to find a scale that works over a chord is to know the key of the overall piece. Now, this is kind of the obvious thing. We're going to have alternatives for this coming up. But if you know what the key is and you know that the chords are in a certain key, then that's definitely going to work, right? So if we're playing in E major and I have the E chord and it goes to C sharp minor, and I know that that's still in E, I can still just play the E major chord. If it goes to A major, I can still just play the E major scale because I know if, if you know that that's the four chord in E major. And if it goes to B, for example, B7, still. Okay, so that's a really obvious one. If we can, we want to think, what's the overall piece of music? What key is it in? And what is the scale of that key? That's going to be helpful for the next step. And if you don't know what key something is in, that's okay. We have solutions for that coming up. Let's talk about option number two for finding a scale that works over any chord. If you know what key you're in and a chord comes up in that key that is outside of that key, which is very common, this would be a chromatic chord or a chord that's tonicizing or modulating or something like that. If you know what key you're in, if you know the parent scale, of this but that chord changes it all you have to do is one thing you can play the original scale and just alter whatever note it could just be one note in this case this note is what's different this chord usually is minor in the key of E when I add this note in that's the only note that changes. So all I have to do is play an E major scale. And these things take time, explore the fretboard, take your time with it. That's how we learn the best. Don't let it, don't expect it to be quick. Okay. Now we get this beautiful advanced sound, which is called Phrygian dominant. But we don't need to know that it is that. We don't need to know the theory of it. We just need to know whatever this chord was, how is it different than the key that I was in? And I'm just gonna change only that note and if you know your overall scale and a chord goes out of the scale that's always going to work and get you an amazing option for a scale that works over any chord let's move on to option number three for how to find a scale that works over any chord so if you don't know what key you're in you don't know what scale you're supposed to be playing as the overall key and if any chord comes up and if it's a triad you can safely use the pentatonic scale off that triad anytime and it will sound amazing any major chord any minor chord play the major uh, pentatonic scale so if i'm playing e major major pentatonic scale and then when if it goes to c sharp minor c sharp minor pentatonic scale a okay yes this is still in the key of e but if we don't know that a major pentatonic it's going to sound amazing if we go to b b major pentatonic those are all on the key, but what if it goes outside of the key? Well, you can still. This is now C major pentatonic. Now it really sounds like we're following the changes, right? So if you get a minor chord or a major chord in the key or outside of the key, and if you're not even thinking of the key, use the pentatonic scale, major pentatonic or minor pentatonic. This is what works anytime for triads, especially and specifically. Let's move on to option number four for finding a scale that works over any chord. If you don't know what key you're in, if you don't know what scale you're supposed to be playing in the key and a seventh chord comes up and or if a chord comes up that goes outside of the key, if, even if you did know the key and a seventh chord comes up uh, that has one, three, five and seven or any extra notes, if it has 13, if it has extensions, if it's a rich chord, if it has six, you know, if it has four notes instead of three notes, then here's something that you can do. Let's say that this G sharp dominant seventh chord comes up and it doesn't matter what key we came from or anything like that. What you can do with a seventh chord is you can take every chord tone. You have to find your chord tones. Take your time, however long that takes. Doesn't matter. Take your time to, to figure that stuff out in the moment or, you know, drill that stuff separately. And then after every chord tone, play a note that is a whole step above. This is going to get you a scale that works over that chord every time. So here's the root. And then that's no, that's two. That's going to work over it. Here's three. That's in the chord. Whole step above. That's sharp 11. You don't need to know that. Here's five. That's in the chord. 
After five, there's a whole step above is six. This is a chord tone, this is dominant seven, that's in the chord, and that gives us the full scale. And it actually is this, it will get us inevitably these advanced sounds. This is a mode of melodic minor and it's called Lydian dominant. And we don't need to know that even if we want to know that. Awesome, fantastic. I have lessons on all this kind of theory stuff on my channel. So do a search on my channel for, for modes of melodic minor or anything you want to learn to learn all the details about that. And I'll put a link to my scales lesson series in the description too. But the point is that we found a scale very quickly. It does take some time to map out the chord tones, but other than that, it's going to take some time to drill it, but you get the idea at least a simple idea of how to find um, a scale that you know is going to work over it. Let's take, let's say we're in the key of E and we know we're in the key of E and then this chord comes up, which is not in the key of E major anymore. Could be like modal mixture or some crazy theory thing. And, but instead we could just say, well, what are the chord tones of this? And then whole step above every chord tone is gonna get us, again, a very, Kind of advanced sound and we can discover what those things are theoretically later and study more and study more but if we just need something to play and experiment with and use um, it's going to get us beautiful and advanced sounding scales that absolutely work over any chord that comes up if you're interested in scales i have a free download that's called my printable parent scales pdf it is the most important scale diagrams for the guitar bunch of different scales five positions each of all those scales exactly the diagrams for you that you can practice off of super easily you can download that for free with the link in the top of the description, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash scales. One thing you could do is you could figure out a scale from this method we're talking about in this video, then go to that chart, find the, the shape somewhere, visually the diagrams, explore it and say, which one did I just come up with that's in this diagram here? Oh, it's that structure. Interesting. That looks like it's part of melodic minor or whatever. It'd be a fun way to use that and use the concepts in this video at the same time. Or you can just use that to drill your scales and learn all your scales everywhere, which is a great thing to do. If you're into this, you're probably into improvising and you might be into jazz improvisation. And I talked about chord tones in this video a little bit with outlining finding chord tones to play scale notes around well i highly recommend next you watch my video that is called critical jazz soloing scale chord tone soloing over autumn leaves it's a really great video i'll put a link to it on the screen right now if you're watching on youtube and i'll put a link in the description if you want to go there to get to it as well that's what i think you should go to next and watch if you're into improvising at all and especially if you're into jazz improvisation so these methods in this video could get you two different scale options that work over the same chord how do you know which one to use when is there one that's more right than the other well that's exactly what my next video is about next week i post a new lesson video every week hope to see you in that one thanks so much for watching take care and happy practicing